So I received another email from ICOM America today from their customer service specialist. Names and email addresses have been redacted to protect the specialist. innocent. And they write, Good news! We just announced the ID52A, the newest of the D-Star handheld line. This will be the replacement for the ID51A Plus 2. We do not have a set release date as of yet. Thank you for your patience and continued support of ICOM's quality products. Have a wonderful day. Stay self safe and healthy. Signed a customer service specialist there at ICOM America. Well, folks, you know, uh, a few days ago, I reached out to ICOM America uh, inquiring about the discontinuation of the ICOM ID 51A Plus 2, their little HT dual band D Star radio. Well, the initial response was um, not going to be replaced, but it looks like uh, from this email today that that's no longer the case, or it was never the case. And um, and I'm just going to take credit <laughs> for uh, getting the news out there, the breaking news that the ID51A was uh, discontinued. And uh, I lit the fire under ICOM America, and uh, it's due to my uh, diligence and hard work, uh, they're coming out with a replacement. G guys, you know I'm just joking. <laughs> Don't take me seriously. Uh, I had nothing to do with that. It was just a coincidence that it, it was funny. Uh, just a couple days ago, um, I made the video and um, brought it to several, you know, a bunch of people's attention that hey, this radio is uh, discontinued. And then uh, just a few days later, they announce a replacement. Uh, uh, what a crazy coincidence that is! But uh, that's that's great news. Great news for uh, the, the ham community. Uh, good news for uh, D-Star lovers. Uh, and like I commented uh, responding to some people, D-Star is not my favorite uh, digital voice mode. Uh, it's a good one. Um, but of the, I guess, the three that I play around with, D-Star comes in third. And no real reason. Um I, I like uh, DMR and I like uh, the System Fusion just a, a little bit better um, than D Star. I just uh, I, I would say D Star is a little bit harder to uh, to work with, a little bit harder to program the radios. But uh, I started playing around with uh, DMR and it's no more difficult than DMR to program a radio. So I can't really use that excuse. So. Um, but D star is a very, uh, good, uh, digital mode, uh, I believe, and I could be wrong, but it may have been the first, uh, digital mode. And I think it was, uh, the first, uh, digital mode, at least the most popular digital mode for, uh, amateur was certainly D star. Uh, and that was my first introduction to uh, digital voice was D star. Um, I got a ID 880. Still have it. It's a it's a phenomenal little radio. It does the job. It's D Star, and uh, I use that in my little uh, Aries Go box. And uh, the cool thing about it is I use it uh, not only for D Star and can you know hook it to a computer and run the D Rat software, but I also have a TNC and I can use it as a uh, you know a, a, a analog radio. Uh, for my uh, bulletin board work, uh, TNC work, uh, so it kind of has a radio has a dual purpose uh, for me. Um, but I'm getting sidetracked. I just wanted to bring to everybody's attention that the uh, replacement for the ID51 has been announced. It is the ID52A, and um, looking forward to uh, finding out a little bit more information about this radio. So not only did 
ICOM America reach out to me today and uh, let me know that a replacement has been um, re uh, announced. Uh, but a couple of uh, local hams uh, that I've been corresponding back and forth with also sent me a link to uh, qrpblog.com. Uh, so it's a, a blog about QRP. Uh, but they have on here that ICOM ID 52 D Star handheld is announced. Um, and they talk a little bit about it, they show some pictures. According to this, it does look a little bit larger than the ID 51. It looks like it has a color screen where the ID 51 had just a black and white LCD screen. The 52 looks like a color screen. Uh, looks like it has Bluetooth uh, capability. And um, yeah, that's about, um, obviously it's going to be uh, dual band. Uh, uh, VHF and UHF it looks like it's got um, obviously it's D star it's got IPX7 uh, water protection uh, GPS receiver SDR SD card slot and terminal and access point mode so I believe you can hook it directly to a computer and be able to access the D star network uh, from the radio which is pretty cool pretty cool feature um, yeah, so uh, you can check out this website here and see a little bit more information about it. And, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see, uh, when it will be released. They haven't announced a release date. Uh, if it's like the ID or the IC705, man, who the heck knows when we'll see it. Uh, it could be next year. Uh, but just want to share this information with you folks, uh, I bring it to you as I see it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, sign off for now. So we'll say 7-3. Everybody take care. Be safe out there. And we'll catch you in a future video from KK4DIV. Bye-bye.